Hi there. Welcome to European School's book reading winter competition. I found the book I was looking for, but more on that later. I've been a book lover ever since I can remember, as a little boy, into my teens, and as an adult. Now, as a language and literature teacher at this school, we have a great winter reading competition for you guys. I have a book I'm going to suggest that some of you may want to read, but if you don't, you can choose any book you wish, and we would love you to read the book from start to finish over this winter holiday. What else are you going to do when it's cold outside? Take some time to pick out the main theme of this book. Find about five quotations, some from the beginning of the book, some from the middle of the book, and some from the end of the book. Put them together in a presentation, a slide presentation, and you can use Google Slides, you can use Canva for this, and you're going to talk about the theme in connection to the quotations that you found from this book. And now you are going to, you can present it any way you wish, but we would love to see your presentations, and we will pick a winner at the end of this. However, in my opinion, I've got a great book that not too many people have read before. Uh, I read it as a teen and I loved it. It perhaps changed my life as well. And I'm going to speak about that book right now. All right, let's move to the author and the book now. There's nothing I love talking more about than authors and favorite books. And we have J.D. Salinger, a mysterious silent novelist who wrote four books between 1951 and 1963. And then he never said another word and never wrote another, another word until his death 50 years later. So he was completely silent in the public. That might catch some of your attentions, I think. It was, this book, Franny and Zooey, was published in 1961. It's a remarkable, thoughtful, sensitive book. I think some of you will love it. Some of you will think it's an unusual novel style, but I think all of you will remember it and fondly. Um, I sure did when I was younger. Um, one critic back in 1961 said, these characters will melt indistinguishably together in an impossible radiance of personal beauty and intelligence. Now, what's unusual about this book are that it's in two parts. The first part is a technically a short story. It's called Franny. The second part is technically a novella, a short novel, and it's called Zooey. But it's not too difficult, not experimental. It's, I think it's worth reading um, for the novelistic artistry. Um, it doesn't have the anger of J.D. Salinger's other famous book, Catcher in the Rye. It's more internal, more fragile. It's about people thinking, and it's about you as a reader watching them think in very beautiful ways as well. Now, Franny, the short story. The story is more direct and simple. And it is my hope that all of you will read at least Franny from start to finish and participate in, the, in this competition. But have Franny read from start to finish for sure. Uh, I think you'll love it. Zooey, the second part, the novella, is a little bit more complicated and has more surprising turns, but I think you, if you love Franny, you're sure to love Zooey as well. And hopefully, uh, before you know it, you've read the entire book from start to finish. Now let's talk a little bit about the book and I'll kind of wrap things up. They are brother and sister in the Glass family, living in New York City back in the late 1950s, early 1960s. The siblings, and there's seven of them, seven siblings, six brothers and one sister, Franny, all are exceptionally talented, and they are actually a family of geniuses. Now, there's no movie version of this book, but there is a book, uh, a movie that was inspired by this book. If any of you know Wes Anderson, the famous film director, his movie, The Royal Tenenbaums, that was directly inspired by this book. And if you remember in that movie, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a family with all the kids are geniuses and they all have like problems and stuff. That was taken from this book, basically. Uh, Franny is about Franny Glass, the youngest sibling of this entire family and the only girl. And she has just entered university and she's visiting her boyfriend Lane and they have a dinner at a, a restaurant and uh, in that situation you get the sense that Franny is a little unhappy with the selfishness and the fakeness of the world that she sees around her. 
Um, here's a little quotation and then I'll move on to the second part. Lane was speaking now as someone does who has been monopolizing conversation for a good quarter of an hour or so and who believes he has just hit a stride where his voice can do absolutely no wrong. This is Franny's opinion of Lane and you can see where she's coming from, what she's unhappy about and uh, so on. Now she tries to move beyond it in her own way and you'll find out when to read the story. Let's look at very briefly at the second novella which I'll uh, keep a bit uh, distant from. I want you to read it and enjoy it yourselves. Zooey happens just after the events of Franny in the Glass family apartment home. And Zooey is the older brother, more established figure. He's an actor, he's actually an actor and he's had famous roles and he has to try, now try and help his sister. So, um, I think, I hope I've set it up in, a, in an interesting way and you're gonna be interested enough to read the book, participate in this conversation, provide us with some great presentations and I'll see you guys on the other end of this winter holiday and I'd love to hear what you think about one of my favorite books, Franny and Zooey.